Hi folks, well uh, something a bit different again today uh, I'm going to take these uh, six uh, nails just uh, some uh, six inch and um, like three inch nails and I'm going to turn them into uh, hopefully three uh, Viking uh, penannular uh, brooches For the uh, living history display I'm going to be at uh, at the end of the month at Clean Castle and Country Park so going to be a bit of experimentation, uh, see what works, see if I can actually do it. The um, well first thing I'm going to do is just uh, clean these up on the wire wheel and uh, get them looking shiny. I know it's not always ideal to wear gloves uh, whilst using rotating uh, wheels like this but uh, if you've ever been whipped by one of these wire wheels you see why and uh, sometimes I've tried um, like mole grips and, and it's, it just tends to just knock it out of your grip uh, no matter what you're holding it with so I always uh, try and use gloves but keep my gloves away I try and keep my hands away from the wheel as much as possible Do it. Right, and now I've got those nice and shiny. What I'm going to do next is uh, cut the heads off, uh, just using a hacksaw, and the points off the big ones. Uh, cut the heads off the small ones, but leave the uh, points on those because uh, I need those to be sharp. So that's it. So I just cut them off uh, with a hacksaw. I think I need to build stronger worktops. Right, so that's one done. Right, I've now cut all the heads off and the points off the uh, big ones. Then just cleaned them up, uh, the ends with a, a file, just so there was no sharp uh, burrs on them. So next up, just using the blowtorch, I'm going to attempt to anneal these uh, larger nails, just to soften them up and make them a bit more uh, ductile so I can bend them into a circular shape. So, I'll get this fired up. And then just going backwards and forwards along here. Just want to try and turn this just the light red. Right, and then I'll just leave that to cool down naturally. Now just leave all those uh, to cool down in their own time. But whilst I'm doing that, I'm just going to experiment uh, with the other pieces. Hydraulic press. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just experimenting with the smaller nail, uh, just in the hydraulic press. Uh, so I want to make this end uh, kind of flat uh, so I can fold it over onto itself. 
make it into a ring uh, so this can become the pin for the brooch um, so I want to flatten it down say to about there so we'll stick it in the press and see what 12 tons does to it There, we'll just release that just now because it's crushing my press. And there you can see it's uh, flat in the end a good bit. Might turn it over and uh, just try it again from the other side. <laughs> Right, so I've got it in the other way up. So now, I'll just a cushion from this side. And release. Yeah, so I think that'll do the trick just fine. So I'll just curl this over around the other the other nail. Right, in the time I've been doing that, um, the first large nail I had in the old uh, has cooled down. So what I'm going to do now is see if I can bend it first by hand. And if that don't work, which it doesn't look like it's going to, um, just use a hammer in the vise so we'll just just catch this in the vise and I'll put my piece around there and then just use a, a hammer to see if I can bend it round into a sort of semicircle and once I get that far, just put it in the vise and continue bending it around. Okay. So I was getting there, just uh, gradually shaping it. So we end up with a almost a circle there. Let's see. Then this will go on like that. Hopefully I can get that spun round. Yeah. So that's the idea. But what I also want to do is uh, crush these ends as well just so uh, your loop doesn't slip off. Right, so rather than use the press uh, to flatten these ends off, I'm just going to use the hammer. Okay, that's now uh, taking shape. As you can see, really want there to be a bit of a gap here. So I uh, might just splay these legs out a tiny bit, uh, if I can. Um, somewhere. 
Okay, uh, to separate that a bit, I just uh, hooked one half in the vise and uh, pulled the other half whilst uh, hitting it with a hammer, which has uh, resulted in them spreading apart a bit. Just do a bit more of this. I think that will do it for that. I right, just give this another polish up, a polish up in the wire wheel, and then I'll try and put the uh, pin in it. Right, so that's looking not too bad. Uh, so now we're just trying to pin the pin round on it. So it might be easier to do in the vice. We'll just uh, put this on like this. We'll get it in the vice. Slide it down with canter. And then just hammer this up. So I think I might just use the uh, grinder wheel and just put a, a bit more of a point on that. And there you go, hopefully that's a sufficient uh, perennial brooch. Uh, remember I'm no history expert, it's my uh, sister who's a uh, the history uh, buff. I'm just a lowly odd jobman. <laughs> right, that's one done. Now I'm just going to repeat the same process of uh, squashing and bending uh, that I did to make that one. Uh, with the other two.